I wish I could just unlock them rather than having to pay it every time. Because I would totally pay it to unlock it, but since I'm just buying it, it's like, no, I'm not going to use it, so I'm not going to buy it. can't make me. Okay, okay. Then we head downstairs. Hello. Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. Oh, did you? So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know huh. the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson. Alrighty. Got him good and lost. Now it's time to go and uh, get our next delivery. It's actually very pretty in its own little way. Imagine living in a city like this. 
Like, they're very commonplace in sci-fi. These crazy cities stratified on top of each other. You know, Coruscant's a good example. All the, the cities that you see in the Blade Runner franchise. That kind of stuff. Living in one of these towns would be crazy. be amazing. Flying cars and all that would be so cool. Alrighty. Cloud Punk HQ. We are going away from the city? We don't Sounds like the like city. Sounds like it. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? No. I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. meters it's probably gonna be another elevator that's another air elevator Always having fun. Let's roll. the BB. Dude, that twist of Death Stranding was freaking crazy. Remember that? Seems like forever ago, but we just finished that in January.
they built their own little town down here. out and the guy I'm supposed to meet goes come out here you, you, my nephew is helping me Luke Luke yeah. you the delivery stooge that's correct I'm from Cloudpunk I have your packages those are no use to me I can't deliver to the outposts anymore none of our vehicles work the fuel lines froze you should keep your engine running okay did you get that Camus yes I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? I took this job because I don't have a choice. Welcome to your poverty safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? That's correct. Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? What? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah. I wasn't the first, though. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Hmm. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So you're in the middle so of the chills now? what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam lanes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. Hmm. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the far rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Hmm. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. Mm, you will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Huh. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. Mm. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. But not anymore. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. I got that. We have a saying here. Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything. And all of us. Cora is the provider and the caretaker and the disciplinarian. Okay. Cora holds out a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood. Sometimes the fist strikes us. And yet we must endure. 
So Cora is your... God? Salvation. Mm -hmm. And right now, Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? No. Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get Sounds going good. then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Rania. <clears throat> They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile. Temporary. Alright. I'm gonna take this. Alrighty. We'll deliver to Pink first, because Pink is closest. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Um. I was sent to deliver supplies. Yeah, I got food for you, so shut up. Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said. Retsu sent you. Mm -hmm. Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. Alrighty. Now pink is next. Or, I'm sorry, yellow is next. Pardon me, I must take uh, uh, this. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. Mama. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years, decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token or something like that. Uh, thanks. It, it's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. All well, right. thank you kindly. I'm kind of expecting this to get, you know, more intense, but I don't know. It's weird to have a game with no combat. You know? I'm not against it, but it's weird to have a game with no combat. I mean, even those god-awful uh, 
active cage games of combat. And go. Here you are. Hello, I'm here too. They already called me on the old CB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the talk of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay. Okay. Good luck. Goodbye. All right. I can see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh no, Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. That's awful. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. I can get a bonsai tree in my apartment. That makes this all worthwhile. Owies. I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. Right. The message is addressed to the Hova. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a batter. Okay. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? Yeah, nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a P.I., but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket, if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. Huh? The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice. But Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the Pasta. debt corpse finished with her, her name's Pasta? God knows what would be left. Debt corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. We could. Should I display the nav point? Hey, Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker. The story was true. Fine. Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. Alrighty. We'll pick up Huxley in a second. 
Nope. No new upgrades. over here. Parking is all the way over there. Alright, off we go. what I could offer you today. Nope. Don't care about any of that crap. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Alrighty. Rare video game cartridge. That shit's upstairs. Yep. me another tin can with an attitude and too many questions i gave him the brush off hey don't talk to him like that or i'll drop you in the hollows the dame had a point i'd better play nice for now i'd slip her some bills when she took me to the hollow cash machine a handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar can you understand what he is saying yes about 40 percent of it the dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? Hmm. She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was, am, um, your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. 54244. Four, four. She was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. Alright. Oh, it's just any holocash? Well then. Sure, there's a holla cash over here. There is. Authentic milk inspired flavorings. for whatever it is I got it I got it but you don't
thanks. Hey, come back any time, lady. No, you can't make me. All right, code is five, four, two, four, four. I will take the account balance. 